Apparently auto white balance means, hey, let's make Samuel look as much like a pale, hollow skull skeleton man as possible. Why hello everyone and welcome back to Samcast GS where I do not look like a pale hollow skeleton man. In today's video we're going to be talking about bees. Specifically because I have a classmate named Emily who is a bee enthusiast or as I like to refer to her a future melatologist which is apparently a studier of bees. There's some knowledge for you. Plus I mean come on we all love bees. That's not even close to being true. Unlike penguins where there are only a few who are afraid of being watched by them, bees are a lot more divisive in the love-hate area of you know being. Ah uh, being? Get it? It's, yeah. On the one hand, bees contribute to the pollination of nature, so they're team players in that regard. On the other hand, nobody's really fond of bee stings. I mean, they hurt. What more can be said about it? You gotta give bees credit for dedication to the cause. I mean, when they sting you, that's it for them. Their last act in life is defending the hive. They're just trying to protect their own. Would we not do the same? Would we not sting another person and give up our lives with that sting? Probably not because we don't have stingers, but if we did, I feel like as a child, you don't have a clear understanding of the fact that bee stings hurt until you get stung by a bee, or in my case, bitten by a bee. Because apparently bumblebees don't have stingers, but they do bite. I learned that when I was a child. Young, innocent Samuel, just walking along in my backyard, not having a care in the world because I didn't understand the dangers of nature. Then suddenly I hear a bzzz, and something lands behind my ear, and I'm like, whatever, there's a bug on my ear. Bugs are everywhere, why not be on my ear, just for good measure. That's when the pain set in as it apparently bit me right there. That was the day that I learned not to mess with bees. I'm not sure what I did to warrant the bite from that bumblebee, but apparently I did something. Bees are generally not super aggressive. Wasps, on the other hand, nobody likes wasps. They do nothing other than inflict pain upon the general population. By the way, you can see Tess up there. For some reason, she has decided that this is her new spot. I had all these cool boxes that are up there and they were all arranged neatly. But Tess was like, yep, that's not important. And she just decided to lay there forever. Wasps are just naturally aggressive. They see a human and they're like, die! And unlike bees, they can sting all they want and they will sting. They will sting you over and over. I remember myself and my best friend growing up had an ongoing war against yellow jackets. Yellow jackets and Japanese beetles. Apparently at the time there was a big problem with Japanese beetles. Japanese beetles are nice and shiny but they they wreak havoc on like everything. We had one of those big play sets in our backyard. Little did we know that a bunch of wasps decided that that was the ideal place to nest. And so my sister Alex was climbing up on our play set like we do all the time and she disturbed the nest and she got stung all over the place. So bees good, wasps evil. You ever been walking through a field of honeysuckles and you're looking down like, hope oh, no bees are right underneath my feet? Even if you're wearing shoes, it's like, why take the chance? If you harm one of us, you harm us all. That bee is gonna send a message to its fellow bees and they're all gonna be like, you killed our brother! And they're going to attack you. I mean, you would take vengeance on someone for killing your brother, unless you hate your brother. I hope you don't. Let's redirect this conversation before it gets somewhere really personal and uncomfortable. Did you know that there's more than 23 thousand types of bees. I am NOT going to list all those bees. I didn't even list all the types of penguins. You think I'm gonna cover 20,000 different bees? That would take all day and I don't think that you would have the patience for that. Even you Emily. I'm running out of things to say so in conclusion I'm gonna read to you how do bees collect honey? Bees collect pollen in their pollen baskets. Now I'm just imagining bees carrying these tiny little baskets with them, like going to collect some pollen to make honey. They probably wouldn't be that big to the bee, but it's funny to make this motion as opposed to this motion. Then worker bees combine pollen, honey, and granular secretions and allow it to ferment in the comb to make bee bread. Oh, it's just the primary food source. I guess that was fairly obvious. So anyway, with that, it's time to move on to the next portion of the video. And I made sure to remember where we left off this time. Edmontosaurus, and I'm now reminded of how terrible of a day this dinosaur is having. Edmontosaurus, otherwise known as Edmonton Reptile. All right, that clears things up, I guess. Oh, oh good lord. Ornithischia, Ornithopoda, and Hadrosauridae, one of the largest and latest of the duckbills, and closely related to Anatosaurus. Edmontosaurus was one of several similar genera that shared the same late Cretaceous landscape in what is now Alberta, Canada. <gasps> 
Oh boy. As many as 1,000 teeth packed Edmontosaurus' cheeks. How do you fit that many? How big are the teeth? I guess he has a longer face, but like that's a lot of teeth and its jaw was specially designed to allow the upper teeth to grind against the lower as the dinosaur chewed. Even the coarsest of plant material, pine needles, nuts, horse tails, could not have withstood its grinding motion. Truly a formidable eater of things. The great carnosaur Tyrannosaurus pictured here may have preyed on Edmontosaurus. You think? Physically 43 feet long and three and a half tons. Okay, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Typical hadrosaurid. That's generalizing and I don't appreciate it. Long, thick tail, strong hind limbs, smaller forelimbs, flattened head sloped down to a typical toothless beak. Wait a second. Okay, so the teeth are in the cheeks and then the beak is in the front. I, I see now. Fossil sites, Alberta, Canada. Why does it say fossil sites? But I guess the multiple fossil sites within Alberta, Canada. And the geologic age of the late Cretaceous, which makes sense because Tyrannosaurus thought they were tasty. So that is the dinosaur of the day. Next we have Euoplocyphae. I'll learn how to pronounce this one. So thanks for tuning in. If you would like to subscribe, feel free to do so. I'll leave a link to my channel in the description as always. Make sure to click the bell too so that you can be notified when I upload more videos. Also, this video is dedicated to my Aunt Eileen who is having some medical troubles right now. Eileen, I love you. Hope you enjoy this shout out and I hope you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you on Valentine's Day. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Appellant, bees are a lot more dis- I mean, if if you make- This this isn't going the direction I thought. Suddenly I hear a bzzz and I think nothing of it because like I- That was the day that I learned that bees hurt. Bees are generally- Bees are generally- Bees are generally- I can't say the word generally. They do nothing but inflict pain upon- Do nothing other than- all they do is inflict- They do nothing other than fli- They can be over there while I slay there. Because... Right? Human! Ah! Wasp was It was during a t Yellow drag- I'm gonna drink some water. This is getting ridiculous. We had one of these big place- We had one of those- We had one of those big play sets set up in our- We had a bunch- bleh, I can't speak. Trying to think of more things to say about bees. It's funny because the fur- <laughs> Is probably gonna be a gag reel. Tiny little baskets with them, like here. This kind of just looks like I'm driving. What is bee bread? Edmonton reptile. Otherwise, no. Closely related, and close and closely related to more water. This is why I keep it there. Yeah, uh, you know. Smaller forelimbs sometimes used. Strong hind limb. Strong hind limbs. Sm Strong hind limbs, small libs, hind limbs, smaller. Hopefully, the fossil sites are Alberta.